All right friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and view through application. And in this video, we'll be getting the list of appointments from our database and we'll loop over each appointment and display over here. So let's get started. First of all, let me create some dummy data using PHP artisan tinker and then run uh, appointment factory. Appointment factory, create the five appointments. and these are created and inserted in our database so if i go over here and refresh this then we'll see those appointments now we need to get those appointments right so let me go to list appointment page dot view file over here and let's add a script tag a script setup and over here let me create the function called get appointments Now let's use Axios to get all those appointments and we'll be hitting the endpoint called API slash appointments and then we'll get the response and we'll insert those appointments inside of appointments dot value and we'll get those uh, data from response to data and we need to define this appointments state so let's define that and we'll be using ref for reactive reference and it got imported from view and now we need to create this endpoint called api slash appointments so let me go to routes web.psp file and after this let me create new route for api slash appointments and then we need to create the appointment controller so let's do appointment controller class and we'll be calling the index method on it let's create this controller php artisan make me a controller call appointment controller but it should be inside of admin directory admin slash appointment controller and this got created successfully let's import this on this page and this got imported now let me go to that controller and let's create that index method and over here let's die and dump here and now let me go to this page let me open up the console let me go to network tab and refresh the page and we are not getting that error and let me go to list appointments view file and make sure to call this method inside of on mounted hook on mounted and we'll be calling that method call get appointments let me save this refresh it and we are getting this error and if i go over here we are getting that die and dump message right which is perfect now instead of showing die and dump message let's put in the appointments so we can do return appointment query get the latest one and paginate those result let me save this now let me refresh it uh, and this will still not work because we are not looping through each appointments but if i go to network tab and refresh the page let me click on these appointments and we have the list of data which is perfect right we have client id we have a description title and appointment status as well now we need to loop through each data so let me close this let me go to list appointments view file and over here let's do b4 for each appointment in appointments dot data also let's use index let's add a key called appointment dot id and over here let's do index 
plus one and let's fix this type over here okay now let me refresh this and this is still empty let me open up the console to see the error and it is saying cannot read properties of undefined on list appointment line 76 over here so to fix this we need to define this state make this reactive reference and pass the empty array and if I refresh the page again then this issue got fixed now we need to display the client name appointment date and time so let's do that part first of all we need to get the client details so let's do with client and we'll pass in id first name and last name but we haven't defined that relationship on our appointment model so let's define that relationship public function client and return appointment belongs to the client so we need to do return this belongs to client class and on this function let's add a return type called belongs to let me refresh this page and on our data we'll have client as well client with first name last name right this is perfect now let's use the details list appointments and for the client name let's do appointment dot client dot first name and then appointment dot client dot last name and we got those client names right now let's show date and time as well so we can do appointment dot start time and we see this date but we need to format that appointment dot end time and we get end time but we need to format those uh, date and time so first of all let me go to appointment model and inside this let me use protected dollar cast and we want to cast start time to PSP date time and end time to date time we refresh it and we got this output but we need to format that so for formatting over here on this index method let's call another method called through and let's go through each appointment and then return this array so let's return id is appointment id start time is appointment start time and format to year month and day similarly for end time appointment and time format to year month and day and we need to get client as well from appointment client also we need to get the status status is appointment status let me refresh this and we are getting those information but let's format it for time as well so let's do hour minute and am and pm hour minute and this is working perfectly fine now let's show the status using those badge and with different colors for different status so for that we'll be using psp.1 enums so let's do that part so let me go to enums and let me create a new file called appointment status.psp and inside this let's add a namespace app enums and let's define the enum called appointment status and it will return the integer and inside this let's define different case for schedule 
is 1 case confirmed phase 2 case cancelled as 3 and here let's define another method to get the color for different status so let's define the method called color and it will return the string and let's use match over here so let's match over this appointment status and then we can do appointment status schedule and for the schedule appointment let's return the color as primary and appointment status confirmed is success and appointment status cancelled is danger now let me go to appointment.psp and inside this cast array let's define status as well and we want to cast it to our custom enum which is appointment status appointment status class now let me go to appointment controller and we can use that status so over here let me delete this and let me pass the array with the status name is appointment status name and color is appointment status and let's call the color method on it now let me go to list appointments dot view file and over here we can do appointment dot status dot name if i refresh it then we are getting schedule cancel and confirmed but we need to show different color as well so for that we can remove this bad success and add another class and over here let's pass base and then let's pass the variable appointment dot status dot color let me refresh it and we are getting different color for different appointment status which is perfect so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you and in the next video we'll be working on filtering these appointments based on different status and we'll be working on this section and also we'll modify this as well also don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one